Hey guys, Sam Lab Tech here. Guys, are you tired of getting stuck on this right here? Watch. Are you tired of this? Watch it. Watch it. Tired of getting stuck right here and you wait for 10 days and it's still stuck there. Are you tired of that? All right, let's force quit it. Let's force quit this. I think your life is going to be saved today. Are you tired of not being able to open Final Cut? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. It gets stuck. Same thing. Well, it's it's been able to open now. It's been op it's been able to open now, but that's because I fixed a lot of things, right? But just watch logic, okay? Are you tired of getting stuck here? Okay. I figured out I figured out the issue, so I wanted to kind of show you. See, watch this. It stays right there. And it gets stuck there okay nothing happens and you're not able to open logic and also you're not able to open final cut but it's because i've been able to fix um the main issue okay so if this happens what do you do okay let me tell you exactly what i did you see it's, it's stuck there all right so right now is it's it's able to work that's because i've moved you guys can see in the trash i have a lot of stuff there right that's because i've cleaned it up enough that it's been able to work okay but the whole point is this when you go how do you get here let me show you guys when you go on your Mac you go to library and you go to audio you go to plugins you go to components okay usually there's a problem here okay and the way I did this is this I created a, a file on my on my on my desktop and I called it components and all I did was I began to select them all out and moved all of them to the components folder okay and once they were in there okay it's not going to take much long it's, it only takes like a few seconds you know all right you guys see that very quick it doesn't take much long all right these are just you know basic basic you know raw data okay you guys can see that very quick all right so when I did that I went ahead and deleted everything in here watch okay all right, well, I'm not going to go out and do this because I don't want to really edit this video. I just want to show you guys real quick. All right, so basically, I went ahead and deleted everything there, okay? Then what I started doing was I began to drag a few of them in there little by little, little by little until I, I figured out the situation, okay? So watch this. All right, I don't need this. I, I created it. I did the same thing with the components, and I did the same thing with the VST and VSTS3. That did nothing. The problem was here in the components, okay? So, realize it's still not opening. Watch. All right? Realize it's still not opening. See, I almost threw this computer away. I was like, you know what? I need to get rid of this computer. But I, but I was like, something told me, go in there and stop being lazy and, and, and just do the dirty work. I just didn't want to do the dirty work. But when I did, it saved my life. All right? You realize it's still not opening. Now, watch this. This is one of the bad ones okay so watch this delete it you know what i'm just gonna have to edit this no problem okay i thought it was gonna show the password good all right that's gone now watch this just like that guys and it's here you guys see that you guys see that very quick it didn't take much long just do the dirty work i know a lot of you guys feel like it's too many files just do the dirty work it's gonna pay off so here's the point step one navigate into this folder here plugins components and just delete everything out. Create a components folder on your desktop. Begin to drag it little by little. 
And the way I did it is this. When I drag it, then I open whatever app is not working just to see if it's going to work. I kept doing it. I kept doing it until I figured out what it was. And you realize the last one I deleted is part of it. Now, with Final Cut, there was probably one of the ones here in my trash um, part of it too. And it's and that's why it's probably working. Okay? So now, Final Cut was not opening. Now, guess what? It's opening very fine. No issues. Okay? No issues. All right? Cool. And Logic, as you guys can see, was not opening. Watch. Come on. All right. Here. Logic was not opening. As you guys can see, bam. It opened up. All right? Cool. Now watch this. I'm going to do the bad thing again. The bad thing we like. We like to install external free VSTs, right? And that's what happened. Watch. Cool. Boom. The bad thing is in there. Watch what happens now. All right. See, I didn't know this until I came to this problem. And I want to teach you. So it doesn't happen to you, all right? It stays here and it's never gonna open. It's just gonna be circling up like that and it's never gonna open. It's never gonna open, okay? So just wanted to show you guys real quick so you guys have an idea in case this happened to you. Eventually, this is gonna just give you the um, error message said, oh, there you go, perfect. And it's just gonna stay there like that, right? So I'm just showing you guys so this don't happen to you, right? Okay, and, and with this, once it's out, okay, once it's out, it should be back up and running with no problem, okay? Once it's out and you force quit this and you reopen, boom, it's here, okay? So the root of my problem is I probably had it on something i don't know what it is but i'm just going to tell you guys in a simple way stay away from free vsds what do i mean by that okay let me show you guys many of many of us would do stuff like this go to google.com free au plugins that's what we do for mac and then we go to that website okay and then we start downloading these things okay just be careful is what i'm telling you all right be careful because these are the things that happen. And sometimes these developers are not really up, uh, updating these um, plugins. And this is what happens when this happens. All right. So I hope this helped you. I hope you don't have to go through this ever. But I hope it helps you. All right. Well, guys, SoundLab Tech bringing you this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. I hope it has saved your life because it's, it, it surely saved mine because I was literally going to throw my computer away considering the kind of um, specs uh, my system has, okay? Considering that um, it has some very high-end specs, um, you know, 3.1 gigahertz, 2017, not too bad, right? 16 um, giga, um, gigabyte of um, DDR3, okay? And not a pretty solid drive here, okay? So, considering all that, it was tough to know that um, to, to see that I was going through this, okay? So, I hope it helped you guys, and I hope you guys have learned something new, um, and this solves your issue, um, whatever you're going through, all right? Well, Sam Lab Tech, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.